Welcome to the April 30th edition of Sideline View here from the Hockey House in uh, downtown Brainerd. Uh, soggy downtown Brainerd today. Uh, we haven't really had a nice spring day yet, uh, not that I can remember, where you could just show up like in shirt sleeves and maybe even shorts. But yeah, We had better we better weather than in, in um, March than we did in, in yeah. April. So I'm, I'm amazed. Yesterday they got a doubleheader baseball game and they also got a doubleheader softball game and talking about Brainerd Warriors and both of those teams swept and when I went out to interview uh, Coach Searcy and Tori Miller after the game, and uh, I tell you, it was just windy, cold, wet, muddy, um, and Tori almost threw a no-hitter. He had a no-hitter for four innings and gave up two hits in the fifth, and they still won 12-2 to two in the second game, 8-4 to four in the first game. But I was glad I was sitting inside yesterday, I'll tell you that. You're an all-star, former all-star pitcher uh, of great, uh, great, great four. Um, does this weather, does it uh, help a pitcher or a batter? Or I, I hated playing in this kind of weather because to me playing baseball when it's like 40 and um, you know it's hard to grip the ball I, I had a problem with circulation with my fingers I mean I my hands would the ends I would lose the tips of my fingers and um, I can remember when I went to college one time we we're playing at the University of Minnesota and they happened to have hot chocolate so I got a cup of it and that's where I stuck my fingers between the innings so I could have feeling in my fingers so I, I hated this this kind of weather I mean it's just it's just not for me so I, I give those people a lot of credit yesterday softball baseball for persevering enduring in this kind of conditions so then would you be for the the use of pine tar <laughs> that's a new one by me i never ever thought of that i wish i would have known that was there i would have tried that out but uh at least not put it on your neck at least but yeah exactly you got to hide it better than that if you're going to use it <laughs> but uh so but we have really um struggled to get events in i mean we were lucky to get uh, i don't know maybe like a dozen to 15 events in yesterday area-wide as well and it was all baseball and softball yeah teams, which so. I, I, I the warrior golf team for boys has not played yet yep, not Girls um, played a couple played a couple in, in not so so great conditions so it's been a been a real struggle here i mean just postponement upon postponement so may's gonna be busy as it always is yep and and, and granted <coughs> and granted we Sorry. were still we're still like uh about three to four weeks ahead of where we were last year last yep. year we didn't have i don't think anybody got started playing a, a game till like april 26th or so and so we're we're uh, we're ahead of last year, but it sure doesn't seem that way. It, it's almost like last year prepared them. Like if you get even a, a, a somewhat decent day, you're gonna go and you're gonna mm -hmm. play. So that's, that's probably smart. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the hickory stick that hickory you competed in last hickory weekend? Hickory stick golf Saturday at Madden's. It was it was cold and windy, but it was dry. So uh, we played uh, 18 holes of golf uh, using old style hickory golf clubs, and it, it was a it was a blast. I had a good time. Didn't golf very well, but I'm expect I, I expect that. So that wasn't nothing anything different. But so uh, what was the feel like with uh, I mean actual <coughs> hickory clubs? I, I've never when when you hit them, it was like hitting a uh, if, if you if you hit an aluminum bat and you hit it wrong and you get that sting, you felt it. Mm -hmm. It was you could definitely there's a lot more feedback with uh, with the shaft. Um, as far as whether you hit it good or whether you hit it bad, and then I was playing with Michael and Joel Foley, and they hit the ball very well. They're they're pure hitters, and it, when they hit it, you didn't hear anything. It was like, well, that didn't sound very good. But then it would go. <laughs> and so, so that means people who can who know how to play the game can hit it without making that uh, exactly. bad sound. Yeah. Huh? So, but uh, you know, I like I said, I played with those two and uh, the exec, ex executive uh, director for the MGA, Tom Ryan, and we had a, we had a blast out there. It was, it was a fun time. And the Foley boys were natally dressed as we would always expect. <laughs> they look like a bunch of great Gatsby characters, so uh, they, <laughs> they they should have went to the prom that they, night. They should have went to the prom that night. They they were they were dressed to the nines. Wow! Can now no, if you get mad when you hit a bad shot, can you actually like crack those right over your leg, being it's only wood? Or you could, and and they expected you know they expected people to break them. I mean, yes, they were a hundred years old, but they didn't care if uh, you broke it. They would just take them back and fix them. And it sounds like a fun deal. It was a good time. That's they, good. they had the Madden's. It was their eighty fifth anniversary, so they offered some some moonshine and some Pabst wow. Blue Ribbon, which was the beer of choice back. Then. Sure, sure. So they they went all back to 1920s, 1930s. So you had a little bit of both of those, I'm assuming. I, I, well, <laughs> see that you're nor there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know if we have anything else to cover here, but nope. um, hopefully next week. I think we've been saying this every week. We'll have some more events to talk about. So um, thanks for joining us, and uh, so hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching.